What is up everyone? JD here. I hope you're all doing well today. Today I am going to be bringing you my full review of the Damned Design Basilisk. This one here has a 3.8 inch 14C 28N blade steel, 4.86 inch titanium handles, overall length is 8.1 inches, and the weight is not advertised, so we'll check that out here together. Woo, 6.4 ounces. That is a weighty guy. I wasn't expecting that. I was expected to be in the fives. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and run through some of my typical comparison knives and give you guys an idea just how big this is. This is definitely a full-size knife. First up is going to be the Spyderco Yojimbo 2. This one here is the DLT trading exclusive with the coated 20 CV blade. So you can see they're almost close in length with the damn design being a little bit longer in the blade. I think the curvature on the handle is throwing me off. I feel like I don't have them lined up, but I really do. And I'm going to bring this camera down just a little bit because I'm already seeing I'm way high off center. Sorry about that, everyone. Next up is going to be the Spyderco Shaman. This one here has the coated S30V blade. And as you can see, the Shaman is overall still just a touch longer and it will be back out from the comparable knives. Let's go ahead and bring out my crossbar locks. First up, the Benchmade Bug Out with the Flitanium Scales. This one also has the S30V blade and we'll bring out the SIG K320 made by Ho. Hopefully this is helping you all see that this is really a big, full-size, full-handled budget knife. Let's go ahead and bring out the budget knife since we're talking about them. First up is the Kubi Royal. This one here is a D2 steel and the Jade G10 handles. And I did wanna go ahead and bring out something a little bit different for the budget line, and that is gonna be the Tucson TS255, which is actually gonna be about the same in price point. Unfortunately, does not wanna sit up on the pocket clip today. I'm not quite sure why. Okay. <laughs> so that way you can get a good comparison. Let's do some profiles really quickly. And we'll go ahead and show you just how thick or thin this one is. Here it is against the Kubi Royal. As you can see, it's a pretty thin, even when you take into consideration the chamfering, pretty thin little knife. Here it is against the bug out. So as you can see, this is really thin, even though it's really, really tall. This reminds me a lot of the Concept Goblin XL. So you can see here it is against the SIG K320. I would say that's identical. We're going to do the Yojimbo, and because I want to compare it against the Shaman, we'll bring the Shaman out here next. So you can see it's just a touch thicker than the Yojimbo 2. Let's do the profile comparison first against the Shaman. You can see here, a reason my hand's back here is because of the chamfering down, trying to get it on the flush part with my thumb to get it a little bit closer to give you guys the idea. Let's go ahead and do a little comparison against the Shaman. If I can stop shaking it in my bottom hand, you can see this is really close in size. The Shaman does have a little bit more length and blade. That way you can get a really good comparison. Really, really close. This is definitely a big size, full sized user. And then I do want to do against the Tucson because this is really uh, competitive. These are both 14C28 and titanium. Does have the carbon fiber inlay, but these can both be had for around 100 bucks. I got this on the pre-order for 90 and I think it's like 110 on the website right now and I think you can get this for around 100 bucks on Amazon still right now. So you can see um, they did do a stone wash both on the titanium and on the blade steel. I have my acid etching stone wash on my 14C28N and I have an 18 degree angle right now and I did throw some jimping on the spine there as well. So mine's a little bit modified, but as far as length and size, everything is pretty similar. The one thing that I do like about this one, it has the inset liner lock. <clears throat> I really do like that. It actuates really nicely. And because it's such a big, heavy blade, it does, it's a fall shut almost. I mean, you just have to shake it lightly and you can even just get it started and kind of guide it in. Really, really nice. 
Let's look at those profiles real quick. In case you're in the market to spend hundred dollar and you want some titanium and 14 c28 and these are both really good options i would say that i like the pocket clip better on the dam design i like the fact that it's inset and i like the fact that it lays flat with the ramp i'm not really big on the ball because i feel it goes in and out of the pocket too easily it goes in well but it comes out really easy whereas this is being pinched in a little bit better um, the lanyard hole on the tucson is a little bit better it does give you the lanyard hole but it's a little hard to um, feed into this one here because it is curved out but it's just hard to get it to ramp back around so you almost got to get a string and pull it through um, a little weird that they did it that way but i do like their backspacer being shorter on here as well and kind of being seamless all the way around i like that came nice and centered it does have ceramic bearings in the pivot Hopefully you can see that. If not, I'll try to zoom in. And it has the ability with the jimping, which I do like this jimping. It's textured, but it's smooth. So it's not rough at all, but it does catch the um, uh, fingerprint grooves when you go to flip it. So you can do the light switch and it works really well. Really well. You can push button. That works really well as well. <laughs> that works really good as well <laughs> and i love the ergos on this even though it's a really big knife it's not sticking outside of the hand too much it has a really nice spot here for the thumb for you to get down on the belly if you're trying to slice into a package and if you're trying to get up on the tip it's actually not too bad you do have to come up a little bit which would be awkward for any drop point but it's really not all that bad and if you're trying to get up on the push cuts because they did flatten and smooth this out it's really comfortable to get up right up on the blade they did give you a nice little sharpening choil and it's a decent amount away from the plunge grind um, the plunge grind is angled well so that if you're using like a KME or a work sharp and you're coming in with the slide it's not going to run into that real quick so it gives you a little bit of sharpening before you get there the uh, knockdown to get to the lock bar is really genuine generous but it does not really stand up over the non-show side too much. It's just a hair. So that if you lay flat on it by chance, you're gonna to get to it really easy. But if you come in to the side and grip it, it's really gonna be easy as well. Now, the one thing about this one here is it is milled out on the show side, but it only has the drill outs here on the non-show side, which is really quite surprising that it still weighs so much. But I think that's because you're getting such thick thick pieces of titanium another little detail that i like is i like that the pivot is almost seamless you have just a little bit of gap around here and you don't have to worry about bolts on both sides if you're taking it apart to clean it you just have to take it apart from the non-show side it does have t8 hardware all the way throughout so t8 in the pivot t8 in the screws which i really like and then a t8 to take out this in uh, cover plate here which makes it look really smooth and seamless these lines here that are milled out are very smooth to the touch when you're running in conjunction with them but when you're not across them they give just enough grip to feel real confident in hand let me go ahead and finish running through some comparison knives and apologize i know this is blending into the background so i am going to bring that tucson back out because that's a real nice comparison and look at that now it wants to stand up oh i said something it heard me <laughs> it wants to stand up that curvature on the back of the uh damn design let me see if it lays flatter over here no 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 it's that pocket clip here we're gonna do this just to avoid having to fight with the pocket clip because i really am just not in the mood today <laughs> the tucson is a really nice option because again 14 c 28 n and titanium handles really good comparison another budget knife that knife that you can have for around that price but it's going to be g10 but you're getting s30 v instead of 14 c 28 n and that's going to be the sig k320 by made by hogue that's another really good comparison but again if you're looking for titanium or some type of steel in your handle the uh better options are going to be the top two but you get a lot of belly oh and that's one thing i did forget to talk about this is surprisingly thin behind the edge really really thin barely feels like there's any metal there and it does carry that thinness up 
way through the blade so that's about midpoint right there and you can just see how much thicker it is than it is behind the edge so you can see I can close my fingers almost on the edge and then at the midpoint barely thicker than the edge so this is really thin coming all the way through so really tall and it's going to slide through things really nicely because it is really thin now one knife that is not within the same price point but i think kind of compares really well is going to actually be my zt0562 20 cv made in the usa titanium handles so you can see that the zt hinderer designed is still bigger and show so is the tucson the tucson overall when you're looking at these two knives is actually still longer overall has a longer blade and a longer handle so hopefully that really helps you and let me just because i'm so far away trying to get them in shot i'm trying to find that sweet spot with this tri tripod and i'm still struggling to do that but you can see here the tucson just has a little bit more length on the blade and on the handle so this is kind of a little bit shorter than both of these and actually i'll keep this one up here so that you can see it against the zt you can just see zt overall just much much longer so while this does look like a much bigger knife it actually is going to carry really well very similar to the shaman in my opinion now the shaman i have has the skinny scales on it so it's knocked out but I, I feel like this is kind of comparing well to it because it is more of that heavier hard use giving you 14 c28n which is a fantastic steel fantastic fit and finished i'm really impressed with this. this is my very first damn design i'm very very impressed with it just really really happy just amazing action i love the fact that you can light switch or push buttons so whatever your preference is you're not going to have any issues getting it out. It is milled out. Does feel substantial being that it is a pretty heavy knife. But again, these are budget and they're built like hard use built knives. They're meant to be worked, um, used to work hard. And I feel like, I just feel like it's made that way. Like really impressed with the design a lot. Um, final thoughts on the knife. I feel like it is recommendable if you don't want to pay $100 for 14C28N and titanium. They do have some G10 options, which are really, really, really nice. I can recommend this knife, especially because of the fact that it is very budget friendly. They're a little bit more off the radar type of brand. And one of the things that I, I just love the fact that it's a smaller make. Now these are an overseas knife. They don't make any bones about that, but that's how they're able to bring this to you for just over $100. Really good finish again, like I mentioned here. I think the only thing I would like to see on here, it's a little bland, um, maybe a little bronze in the uh, pivot and uh, the hardware perhaps, I don't know, or maybe just black it out just to give it a tiny bit of contrast, but that's a very small mark. Um, the only other thing I could say is they maybe could have just toned down the blade a little bit. I think it would have looked okay being a drop point coming in about like that and maybe thinning it out just a touch here. Um, but I, I really, again, that's very minor complaints because when it actually gets in hand, it feels really, really good. And um, I guess I was just a little surprised by the weight. I'm not quite sure if it's because this is such, such a thick slab of titanium and that they gave you the titanium backspacer and it's really beefy i'm not sure if that's what's causing it to weigh so much just a little surprised by that weight but again also surprised i love the ergos but also surprised how much it doesn't feel like it's a six ounce knife. Like I was surprised on that scale. <laughs> I'm gonna check it just one more time just to make sure my scale wasn't having a bad day. Um, really surprised by that weight. It doesn't feel like it. Like it has some weight, but 6.4, how does that compare to the ZT? Cause that's another one that's kind of. So a full one ounce is more. It doesn't feel like it though. That's so, oh gosh, that's so surprising. That is so surprising. Anyway, um, I can recommend this knife, and I bet you, uh, I bet you money that the G10 variant of this is going to be much lighter. Really, really surprised by this. I think you're getting phenomenal value for your money from Damn Design. 
go ahead over and check out their website they have quite a selection they have these big boys they have some smaller variants um, different models they have some really tiny fifth pocket carries as well they have some front flippers i mean they just got a ton of models out there and after my experience with this one um, i can easily recommend the knife this just feels really well made guys hopefully this helped you and you enjoyed the video if you did do me a favor leave a like helps me with the youtube algorithm and if you enjoy the content consider subscribing and follow along i really appreciate everyone out there who's supporting the channel thank you so much you are all awesome i hope you all have a fantastic week until next time peace